Yeah, hi guys. And today we're going to just talk a little bit about the fight of uh, David Hay and uh, Tony Bellew, Bellew and um, how the fight happened and um, basically what I thought of the fight and I did really underestimate Tony Bellew because David Hay in his past showed a lot of great stamina and strength in the ring and um, it looked like David Hay wanted to take out Tony Bellew in the first few rounds which yeah, he never had any chance to do it, he did connect connected really good on Tony in a few punches and um, Tony took him very well I was very surprised that he took those punches very well and um, I didn't think he, Tony could have uh, handled the pressure but he did and um, yeah and uh, the way it happened you know how uh, Tony was handling him when Dave uh, David uh, Hay was throwing the swings he was swinging David Hay was swinging a lot and it, <coughs> in a way he was kind of embarrassing himself because he missed and losing balance and things like that so I think David Hay went in the ring with anger and uh, he wasn't controlling the fight I think Tony um, was kind of probably shocked himself like well I can handle this guy you know he's a heavyweight and he's he's fought big guys and um, yeah Tony proved us all wrong I guess that, that you know you can handle a heavyweight fighter I thought you know David Hay could probably fight like people like Anthony Joshua but David Hay, I think, is a uh, because he's been out of the ring for a while. Can he? Can he really handle a person like John uh, Anthony Joshua? Anyway, I'm going to show you a few clips of the fight of what I think David Hay was doing wrong. All right. First of all, the way he was standing on the back foot, where supposedly the injury came from. You don't really, well I'm not sure, you should be standing on your back foot like he was. So just give us a second, I'll show you a clip. Yeah, so you see there, and the picture I just showed you, the way David Hay was standing, and the way Tony was standing. Big difference. So that's where I think the injury that uh, David got is the way he was throwing his punches and putting the pressure on the back leg uh, I'm not a boxer so really do people stand on the back leg like that because I was watching the video and um, when Tony was attacking David Hay David couldn't move back quick enough because he was always on the back leg like that <coughs> but respect to Tony he took the punches, handled them. Now, people are saying if David Hay didn't get the uh, injury, would have Tony still won? I think possibly yes. Because the first few rounds, David, I think, put all his energy in it. Swinging, swinging and swinging. Great fighter, but I think he came in the ring with anger. And um, Tony has proven to a lot of people now that he is a good fighter. He can box. And yeah, hats off to Tony. Is it going to be a rematch? I hope so. I don't know if David will ask for uh, David Hay will ask for a rematch, and will Tony give it, or is now Tony going to look for another heavy fight, heavyweight fighter? You never know. He could be going for. Uh, Anthony Joshua, you never know, man. You could probably ask for him next, but you never know after the Klitschko fight. So I reckon when I was listening to Tony Bell, you, he was running his mouth, saying he's going to do this, he's going to do that, and blah, blah, blah. He backed it. It reminds me of, um, what's his name? Tyson Fury versus Klitschko. Tyson Fury ran his mouth and he backed it. 
Fast and Furious are boxer man not to be underestimated and Tony Bellew I don't think people can underestimate him now well done Tony well done Davey Hay uh, for the showing us the fight you know thank you and um, hopefully we'll probably see a rematch it would be nice and I just thought I'd make this video because a lot of people are going to say David Hay is not what he used to be we don't know he's just like got an injury on his leg I reckon he got that injury the way because the way he stands on his leg could have put more pressure on the knee ankle in an awkward position um, that's what I reckon but he can punch he can hit and he did hit Tony with some proper punches and Tony absorbed him so you can't say Tony's got a glass chin he can box he can take a punch and give a punch so respect to you Tony Bell you I did underestimate you not anymore buddy you did good and David hey I respect you still man you, you're saying you still need to prove to people that you're the best in the world I hope you do one day but I think Tony's got a uh, got a quicker way to show that he's a a brilliant boxer because he's in the limelight and David Hayes kind of been pushed back now because of this fight David Hay does need a rematch to prove that he can be Tony let's see if it happens yeah thank you for watching this video please do subscribe it's not hard I know it's not a brilliant video but I had to make this because I did make a video before this of David Hay beating Tony Bellew easily I was wrong I was wrong and I'm lucky I didn't put a bet on David Hay to win because I was in two minds but then oh man I should have put a bet on Tony Bellew man I'd have made some good pee in it and um, David Hay did say to all the Tony Bellew fans put your money down on Tony I hope you did man I hope you did because you'd be rich and I was saying you'd be going home with no money and I was wrong you'd have made a lot of money anyway Tony respect David Hay respect and uh, to all the boxers take care man and please do subscribe to my video videos it's not hard to my uh, youtube channel i know it's not a brilliant video but i had to do this man because i deserve to i think i should have done this because i thought wrong of tony and i had to say tony respect well done and uh, hopefully see you in the future in bigger fights and even David Hay, I hope he recovers and probably has a rematch. Please do subscribe to my videos. It's not hard to press like and subscribe. You never know you get better videos off me. I do videos traveling and things like that. So please do subscribe. Thank you.